and I thank the organizers uh, for the invitation. So it must, I, I, I guess that it must be really hard work uh, to organize such a conference and uh, this difficult situation. So, um, so before this pandemic, I met, met to look at uh, rather regularly. So it's very rare that uh, I don't see him physically for such a long time. So the, uh, before this pandemic, uh, so we visited the Beijing together uh, in uh, uh, 19 September. So, so then there uh, I was uh, preparing to give a lecture. So at that time, um, so I, as, as maybe as usual, so I was studying uh, finite extension, finite Galois extension of uh, local field. So, so I, I was uh, thinking about the problem, the following problem. So look at uh, this relative omega one. <coughs> And take tau or module uh, with uh, the residue field. So it is a residue field. So, so this carries the natural action of Galois group. So I expect you to have uh, this action uh, unlified. So the inertia, must, inertia group must act trivially on this uh, tau group. So at that time, so we are together in Beijing. So I met to Luke every day. Um, so, so under such a situation, it was very natural to look at the uh, cotangent complex. So there is an injection from this group to the H1 with the cotangent complex. So it is stands for uh, cotangent complex. <clears throat> then, uh, so this is, so if you have such injection, then on, on this group, uh, the Galois action is uh, unlinified. So it's uh, obvious that uh, so this action is unlinified. Uh, once you get to such injection. <clears throat> So, so it was uh, uh, two years ago. And the last year, uh, so shortly before uh, we started, we stopped the moving. So it was in January. So I went to Paris. Well, more precisely, I went to Bill. So I, I gave a talk on this subject there. Then uh, Gabo was there, and uh, he he suggested another construction very uh, similar to this uh, group. So Gabo testified, and, uh, and he has a question. Yeah. Uh, Gabo, you have a question? Yeah. So uh, what is the question? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then it's okay. Also, I, I don't see because of the vapor from the mask, so I don't know if I can, I can take. Yeah, you can take. Okay. Okay. So, so this guy is really uh, the sub the subject of today's talk, and uh, and after this discussion, so I I I came back to Tokyo. And uh, Luke suggested that uh, I should uh, give give a name on this module. So this is uh, suggested by Luke. <clears throat> so my, my choice is, is uh, Frobenius uh, bit. Uh, sorry, if you sure I'm sorry. 
probably the problem is in, in, only in Paris, but if he, the last line we don't see it because of some software problem. So maybe if you could. Uh, up to here, it's okay or uh, it's already below, too low? Below, look, we, we can't see. But it's, okay, it's yeah, I can go to the, the next uh, page. Give a name, yeah, but uh, we barely yes. see it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so so you, you you see that this bottom line. Okay. 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 Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. It's Very good. You okay. can go. Ahead. Okay. Okay. No, we, we okay. Don't see the okay. So I, I will stop here. Okay. So uh, now I I chose the name. So it will be called the uh, Venus bit differential. So, so this will be the subject of my talk today. <clears throat> so, so this is just uh, one example, but uh, this, this example already uh, sh uh, shows that uh, uh, how much I want to look uh, in, in, in such a study. So thank you very much. Uh, Thank you, Luke, for, for uh, uh, influence on me. Okay, so let me continue. <clears throat> okay, so so today I want to talk on uh, sorry singular support. And the uh, character cycle. In mixed character speciation. So we know, know uh, that the uh, such is, we have a nice theory. Uh, for senior support and the uh, character cycle in, in equal geometric case. So now we are interested in the arithmetic case, but uh, so then there are several obstructions. So let me like uh, some of them. So first, uh, this uh, senior support or character cycle, so they live on cotangent bundle. So first uh, we have to find the light uh, place to, to find the single support. So the first question is uh, how we, we define the cotangent bundle. And the next one is uh, so how to define uh, single support. And the next one will be uh, how to prove the existence of a single support. Then after this, uh, we, will, uh, work on, we will work on uh, definition on, of a character cycle. So there are uh, at least uh, uh, four <coughs> steps or obstruction. So up to now, uh, I can tell you what I can do on this first two, but uh, on this uh, last two, uh, I don't know how to answer such question. So today I, I will focus on these first two uh, points. So, <clears throat> Now on this uh, cotangent bundle. So we want to have, so let me say, uh, so X will be some regular scheme. Then we want to, oh, we say, uh, let's say our dimension is uh, N. Then we want that uh, this cotangent bundle has also but this is something hard to find. So for example, if X is just ZP, 
then uh, or, or spec of ZP. Then uh, you have dimension one, but uh, omega one is just zero. So we don't have a nice object here. But uh, Kato, so as we have seen yesterday, uh, he likes log geometry. So he can uh, define uh, some logarithmic uh, stuff, which has uh, dimension one. But uh, in, in the story of uh, senior support and the character cycle in, in geometric case, we will not work with log. So we don't take this approach. So we have to find some, some uh, another uh, construction uh, to, to define cotangent bundle. So this is a, will be my, the first part of uh, the to talk today. So this is the first thing we have to understand. <clears throat> and, uh, okay. So the, yeah, go ahead, that's good. Oh, no, yeah, I think I will. But you said something about log stack. I mean, probably you mean log differential, so. Yeah, yeah, just to, so you take. Uh, uh, yes, okay. You put the log pole. Okay. Yeah, this is just, just yeah, this is what I mean. Okay. Um, so before going, um, so for, for difficulty, uh, for the difficulty in this third part, so in the third part, uh, Bayesian find that uh, he can use uh, Ladon transform. So this is a very powerful to uh, in geometric case, but uh, so of course we can uh, try Ladon transform, but uh, it is not strong enough in mixed circuit character case. And for this first last part, uh, so we use a Milner formula. But uh, so of course we can uh, imitate this approach, but uh, again, uh, I don't I don't understand what what, what can can I do uh, in this case. Okay, so to do, let me go uh, more on detail. <clears throat> So today, so on this first part, so I want to introduce uh, some Frobenius pullback. So, but this I have to put in, in quotation mark <coughs> of uh, the uh, restriction. of the cotangent bundle. On the closed fiber. So we want to define this cotangent bundle, but uh, um, I can define it only on the closed fiber. And it further, it's not the cotangent bundle itself, but it's rather, it look like it's a Frobenius pullback. So I will tell you what this means later. And on the second part, <clears throat> so this is a part of where, uh, a part of, of the definition of the uh, Snyder support. So here, uh, so we work with uh, some sheaf on et al side. So in, in geometric case, so let me recall uh, what happens in geometric case. So in this case, um, so we have, we work with a closed conical subset on the cotangent bundle. So T star of X is a cotangent bundle. And the C is a closed conical subset. <clears throat> In 
here this conical means that the, so we work with a vector bundle. So vector bundle has natural action of multiplication, scalar multiplication. So conical means this is a closed random scalar multiplication. Can you see this sentence? Is that okay? Yes, actually, we, we can see uh, everything now, actually. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, so to define singular support, uh, we have to study the relation between uh, shift on etal shift and uh, such a subset on the cotangent bundle. So, so this step is divided into two sub-steps. So first one is uh, to introduce the notion of micro-supported. So we say, we introduce the notion that F, such as chief F, is micro-supported. So I have to explain what, what this means. And once this step is done, is done then the singular support uh, will be the smallest one. Uh, such C on which uh, F is micro supported. So once you have get to the definition of this uh, micro support, then you can define the senior support as the smallest one. But of course, uh, next, Question is the existence. So I don't know the answer in general. Uh, but uh, I will give an uh, example at the end of the talk. So this is uh, the plan today. So are there any questions so far? Okay, so let me continue. Is there, so do you also yes. want it to be of certain dimension? Ah, uh, uh, so, so this is a tricky point because uh, uh, as I said, uh, this cotangent bundle is uh, they find only on the closed fiber. So this means that, uh, so my, 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 uh, my uh, single support is also uh, uh, defined only, only on the closed fiber. So I have to cut the, the generic fiber. So this, this uh, makes the, the sometimes this makes the dimension one less. So the problem, is it the case that the singular support of the restriction to the general fiber uh, somehow is related yeah. to the singular support that you have on the on the special fiber, some of specialization or something like this? Uh, so this is, this is not so clear because uh, on the closed fiber, uh, the rank of the bundle is uh, dimension of X, but on the JEC fiber, the rank of the bundle is dimension one less. So it's uh, not um, straightforward to, to connect to the JEC fiber and the cross fiber. So I don't know how to see this uh, uh, precisely. Okay. Okay, so let me continue. So the, the, the point in, in this second step is the notion of this micro support. 
So micro support is a So this is the relation uh, between uh, this F. So F is again on the etal side of X and C is living on the cotangent bundle. So the, uh, still uh, we, uh, we are in the geometric case. So in this case, the def definition of this notion uh, so we, we use uh, <clears throat> morphisms uh, from X uh, to somewhere else. So, but, but it may not be defined X on the whole of X. So this is only defined uh, eta locally. So let's say uh, we have a map from uh, X to somewhere else. So uh, X and Y are smooth. So we are in the geometric case. So, so we can pick some field and X and Y are smooth. And F is uh, some uh, morphs between them. And in this case, uh, we introduce the notion, which is called C acyclic. So I will not uh, record the definition here, but uh, anyway, uh, we know uh, if such a map is uh, C-acyclic or not resist to such closed conical subset. So this used to be uh, called C transversal, but uh, I, there are two notions uh, C transversalities. So to avoid the con uh, confusion, uh, I chose another name. Um, so this is now, I call this uh, C, C acyclic. And the micro support condition means that uh, uh, if F has uh, this property with respect to this C, then this should imply that uh, F uh, is <clears throat> locally acyclic. Uh, relatively to <clears throat> so such such relation uh, gives the relation between uh, our CFF and the closed conical subset. So C acyclicity means uh, local acyclicity of F. So this definition works well uh, in geometric case, but not so well uh, in isometric in mixed characteristic situation. Um, so th this works well because uh, uh, in, in geometric case, then there are uh, many uh, map from X to uh, Y. <clears throat> For example, if uh, Y is just A1, then uh, there, to take a map to A1 just means that you, you have you take a function uh, on X. So you can find many function. So you, you can choose many such F um, to check that this is a good property. But uh, in the case, in mixed character case, for example, uh, in mixed character case, for example, if you take X is a spec of ZP, then there is only one map from spec ZP to spec ZP. So, so it's not enough. So, so we have to make another definition. So, so instead of using uh, morphism from X, so we use uh, morphism into X. So, so this time we use the map uh, going to X. Then, uh, so this time, so I, I will in, introduce uh, C transversality. So this I will define later. And this should imply uh, 
this H is an F transversal. So this is an, um, these two notions are being introduced later. So in this way, uh, so we replace uh, uh, this definition, uh, which worked well in geometric case, um, by such definition. And in geometric cases, they are equivalent, in fact. Um, uh, in, in geometric case, these two definitions are um, equivalent. So we will, we will use uh, this definition to, to consider mixed character case. OK. Uh, F transversal means uh... F locally asymptotic. Yeah, so I, I will de uh, define this property later. No, it means that it's Thank you. <laughs> so, so the content today, so I already uh, have taken the most of half, half, about the half of my time, but uh, the content today, so first I introduce Frobenius bit of definition. And then uh, I need to explain this C transversality and uh, F transversality. And uh, if I don't know if uh, I, I have time, but uh, if I have time, I, I will give some example of singular. Okay, so this will be the, the plan today. So let me uh, start with uh, Frobenius V2 differential. So let me fix some prime number. And then we can define polynomial. So this is uh, so you, this formula you see in the definition of bit vectors. You take this difference. Then we know that this is divisible by P. So we can define polynomial with Z question. Okay. Now, let me, let me take any ring and uh, M will be A module. Then we say a mapping W. So this so this is uh, some 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 uh, mod, mod, modification of the derivation is a uh, uh, Frobenius bit of differential uh, derivation. So this is a modification of uh, derivation, and uh, Frobenius and the bit of uh, <clears throat> appears in, in this derivation uh, modification. So first uh, <clears throat> for any A and B. So uh, derivation must be additive. So, so first, first we modify this additivity. So to modify this additivity, I, I use this uh, polynomial. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, if you want to see uh, my um, <clears throat> my note, um, then uh, you can uh, find it uh, on my web page. So, ah, yes.
So I sent a link. So if you want to see、uh, other pages,、uh, you can、uh, click on this、uh, <coughs> link to, to, to see、uh, more information. <coughs> okay, so let me modify this additivity. So, of course, we have these two terms. But I now use this polynomial to multiply WP. So, if this WP is zero, then we just add it to one, but we have this modification. So, this is a fast modification. So, so this is the reason for bit. And the second one, so for, for derivation, we have Leibniz rule. But if we, here we use f u l l v e n i u s to modify this Leibniz rule. So we take this power to modify the Leibniz rule. So here we have f u l l v e n i u s So, this is a、uh, <clears throat> definition of Frobenius bit derivation. <clears throat> so, now、uh, I can define、uh, <clears throat> ah, this.、Uh, I have to say something. Yes. So, this is、uh, related to um, uh, P derivation by BM. Or、uh, delta ring、uh, appearing in the definition of、uh, prism. <clears throat> Now,、uh, we, we can define the, <clears throat> sorry, the universal object. So, if omega one A, And universal.、Uh, so they are universal pair of A modules and、uh, full venous bit derivation. So we can define such a、uh, universal pair. And we call this、uh, the module of, of full of this uh, bit uh, differentials. So, in fact,、uh, such construction is、uh, done by uh, uh, four authors Dupuy, k a t d o b i n o f f And Judaic、uh, Ram. So this is a four, four person, so this is one person. So the, they, they make the, the essentially the same construction. And if,、uh, if、uh, A is ZP, so in our application,、uh, we are interested in the case where A is、uh, algebra over ZP. Then a、uh, localization, then、uh, this f u l l o v e n i u s bit differentials are、uh, killed by P. So this is in fact、uh, A divided by P A module. But this is, this is a nice object、uh, which works well for us. So now、uh, if、uh, X is a scheme, So, we can、uh, simplify this construction. Then、uh, we get the、uh, Kazi Kofen OX module or OX EOX module、uh, if、uh, omega one、uh, X. We will obtain such a nice module. And we, under some,、um, some So, we will be most interested in a case where、uh, x is、uh, of、uh, finite type over、uh, OK, typically、uh, ZP. <clears throat> uh, so, this will be a 
the VR is uh, uh, perfect this is your feed <clears throat> and and uh, over so this is the feed is of character P if it is the feed K and the character K is P <clears throat> And the, uh, sorry, X is, so I, I will assume that X is regular. Then uh, this F omega one uh, is, uh, <clears throat> so this is a uh, uh, locally free. Uh, OX divided by P of X module of rank uh, equal to dimension of x. So we have to uh, work on the, the closed fiber, but uh, we have the locally free shift with the correct rank. So this is a uh, important point for us. So in particular, if X is smooth, if uh, this is smooth, then uh, this shift uh, fits in uh, exact sequence. So F omega one, uh, X. So I left it to the close of five one. Then uh, this fits in. So first, uh, uh, you have you take the Frobenius pullback of the conormal shift. So this is conormal, and this is Frobenius uh, pullback. And uh, we, we get again from this pullback and the differentials of the close fiber. So we have such extension in, in the case where X is, is smooth. So we have some something almost something like almost uh, cotangent shift, uh, but uh, we need to uh, put the here. And such extension is constructed by the linear and the easy. And this, this, this extension is in fact studied by these four, four authors. Uh, and uh, slightly uh, different uh, so they, they call this shift as a uh, total shift of total differentials. So they, they write, write this uh, in, in this notation. So this is the case when, when uh, uh, X is smooth. Now I go back to the general case of, uh, when I, I just assume X is regular. Then uh, we can define this uh, Frobenius uh, cotangent bundle. But because of this property, I list it to the closed fiber. So this is a vector bundle on the closed fiber associated to uh, this uh, local free shift. So on this uh, closed fiber, uh, we have a nice uh, locally free shift. So we can take associated to vector bundle. So um, if n is a dimension of x, then this space has a dimension n minus one. But this vector bundle has a rank n. So we get uh, such a geometric object.
Okay, so, so this is uh, the first part uh, of the construction. Uh, so far, any question? Is okay. that uh, if and only if? What is the if and only if? Uh, ah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, under some uh, uh, some finite condition, uh, uh, in fact, uh, this, 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 is, uh, this regularity and the local freeness is uh, 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 equivalent uh, under, under some condition. Yeah, thank you. That's important. Yeah, yeah thank you. Thank you, Irene. Okay, now uh, let me continue to uh, this second part. <clears throat> the subject of the second part is a comparison of uh, F, uh, C transversality and F transversality. Okay, so let me start with this uh, C transversality. So now C will stand for a closed conical subset of this uh, ve vector band I just uh, defined. So C will be a closed conical subset. <clears throat> so again, this conical means that uh, it's stable under uh, multiplication. Okay, now transversality is a notion for a map going to X. So we look at uh, most of schemes like this. So W is also a regular scheme of finite type of uh, okay. <clears throat> now, uh, then we have the following diagram. So we start from uh, cotangent band, this Fulvius one, on X. Then by this map, uh, we can take its pullback. So this is just a fiber product. So then because of the functoriality of this Fulvius with the differentials, uh, we have a conical map to um, uh, for this cotangent bundle on the, uh, the W. So, so they are living on this WK. <coughs> so this is just full of uh, this is just full back. So we can make such a diagram. Now, uh, our uh, closed conical subset is living here. So I can just take the pullback. So I get uh, some closed conical subset in here. And this is a linear map. So we can. Uh, consider the intersection with the kernel. So, so we can take the intersection of this pullback with the kernel of this map of uh, vector bundles. Kernel of um, H star, T star, X, to X. Of this uh, Herbinus with the uh, cotangent band. Okay, then, <clears throat> uh, so we say H is uh, C transversal. Uh, if this intersection 
is a subset of the data section. So if we have such inclusion, uh, then we say such H is transversal. So let me give you two examples, uh, a few examples. So if C is itself is a zero subset of zero section, or if H is smooth, then uh, H is C transversal. Um, well, so, so this is more or less a trivial example. More uh, interesting example is like the following case. So suppose we have a regular closed subscheme of co-dimension C. Then uh, we have a canonical map from the Hurabi's pullback of the conormal bundle to the closed fiber. So this is the normal bundle. And uh, let to the closed fiber. And then you take the whole means pullback. Then there's a natural map. So this is in fact injection <coughs> to this. So we can take uh, this guy as a closed critical subset. Then, uh, then uh, such H is C transversal. If and only if uh, this pullback, so this is a closed subset of W, is again regular uh, and the codimension is the same. Uh, but uh, on, on the neighborhood of the closed fiber. Because let me remind you that uh, everything uh, is living only on the closed fiber. So we get some condition only on the, uh, on the neighborhood of the closed fiber. So this is such, so, so in this case, uh, the condition means that uh, this uh, immersion is transversal to this map. So this is the reason for the name of this transversality. So this transversality, uh, let me repeat that this is a notion uh, on, on the neighborhood of the closed fiber. So this is a uh, de definition of C transversality. Okay, so in, maybe in the remaining uh, 10 minutes, uh, let me explain uh, F transversality. But uh, any questions so far for C transversality? Okay, so let me continue to uh, F transversality. <clears throat> so here, uh, <clears throat> If is uh, constructive C on etal site of X of lambda modules, maybe as I should write constructive, where uh, lambda is a uh, finite extension of FL, uh, it is defined from P. Okay, so we have uh, such contrast to C from X. And uh, again, this transversality is a condition uh, for a map into X. So again, we consider a uh, from uh, W to X. So here we don't need to assume any regulated condition. 
So now uh, I define a canonical motion from this tensor product. So first uh, you just take uh, usual product. And uh, we want to compare this usual product with uh, this extraordinary product. And to compare them, uh, I need to put uh, uh, extraordinary product for the constant shift. Then I can define a canonical motion like, like this. So let me uh, recall the definition. So this is defined as the adjoint. <coughs> So by the adjunction, uh, so this such motion correspond to uh, this motion. So if if you are, have such motion, uh, then by adjunction we get to this motion. And to define this motion, I, I can apply a projection formula. So by projection formula. So this is a chemically identified with uh, this tensor product. So now I, there's a kind of adjunction map from this to lambda. So I just, I can just take one tensor adjoint, adjunction. So I define this as a composition. <clears throat> and uh, this kind of map is uh, defined as the, uh, as the adjoint of this motion. Okay, now we have this kind of motion. So now we can make a definition. So we say, so we say uh, this H is F transversal. Uh, if uh, this CF is uh, isomorphic. <clears throat> so let me give you an example. So this example corresponds to the previous one. So for C transversality, the C uh, subset of the section corresponds to uh, if it is locally constant. Or uh, H is smooth. Then uh, such H is uh, F transversal. So for this local constant shift, this is uh, obvious. But uh, in this smooth case, uh, this transversality is uh, the Poincare duality. Okay. So an, another example is this uh, closed immersion. So suppose we have uh, regular immersion, um, closed immersion of regular, regular closed scheme. Of uh, dimension. C. <clears throat> then, uh, uh, so in this case, uh, if I take F to be uh, the direct image of this constant shift on, on Z, <clears throat> then uh, F transversality means that uh, <clears throat> this. Uh, H is uh, the C transversal. So C, C as before. Uh, if, so, sorry, if transversality, or maybe let me write here. So F is, uh, so, sorry, H is. F transversal. 
on the neighborhood. On, on, sorry, on, on the neighborhood of the closed file. So this is a constant case of purity. <clears throat> okay, so we have, uh, so this is an example. Yes. W is regular here. Oh, yeah, yes, 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 yes. So here, uh, here W is here, here W and X are in, in, in this example. Thank you. Yes, so the purity implies one uh, one uh, direction. Ah, yeah, yeah, well, only one, only one. Yeah, yes. thank you, thank you, yes. And then the other one you have to work, I suppose, to prove. Uh... Yeah. Do you have the other direction or you? you... No, 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 uh, yeah, I, it was my mistake. Thank you. Uh, only one direction. Yes, thank you. Okay. Now I can, so, so I have explained what is the C transversal and what is the F transversal. So using these two property, uh, I can define a uh, <clears throat> micro support so definition. So F is a constant C from eta side, and C is a closed conical subset of this from this uh, cotangent bundle. Then uh, we say F is a uh, micro supported um, C if so there are uh, two conditions. So first condition is on the support. So support of F intersection is uh, the cross fiber is a subset of the, the base of C. So this base is a uh, intersection of C uh, with the, the zero section. So this vector boundary is uh, living on, on the closed fiber. So this base is in fact a subset of uh, closed fiber. So we have to take, so th this is the reason why I have to take the intersection with the closed fiber. So this is the first condition, so on the support. And the second condition is the essential one. So for any uh, most from uh, <clears throat> W to X, so here W is regular. Then, uh, then the C transversality uh, implies uh, F transversality. But uh, so everything is uh, on the neighborhood of the closed fiber. <clears throat> so once this, this definition is made, uh, then I can define the, <clears throat> ah, let me give you one example, so, so easy example. So, so if it is uh, locally constant, if F is locally constant uh, <clears throat> on the neighborhood of closed fiber, if and only if uh, F is uh, micro supported on the on the on the zero section. <clears throat> And now I can define the single support. So single support is the smallest one, uh, such that uh, F is smallest C, such that F is micro supported. And C. <clears throat> uh, for example, uh, uh, for, for the constant shift, 
is that the zero section. But as I said before, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, so I can make conjecture. Uh, but I don't have time to uh, say, uh, explain the, the example. So let me stop here. So thank you. Thank you very much for your attention. Okay, thank you, uh, Takeshi. Uh, are there any questions? If there are questions uh, from the audience, you can type using uh, the chat or Q and A. Uh, yes. Can I ask? For yeah. You? Okay. So the 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 example where f is locally constant in a neighborhood, if not if it's micro supported on the zero section, this you can prove. So you explain you explain one direction is is trivial if it is. If it is locally constant, then it's always uh, micro supported uh, on uh, any C. Yeah. And any C because. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. But uh, the other direction, you still have to prove that if it's not locally constant, you have to, you should, you should get something which violates transversality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This you can do. Yes. Yeah. So this, uh, so, I, I, so I, I use, uh, so I said there, there are two possibility of definition. So in the beginning, so so one one is, um, one is uh, the original one is map from X, and uh, the definition I explained today is uh, using map two X, but uh, so this this. So there's a relation between this property and uh, that property. And there, uh, so we have this local acyclicity. So in, in, in my using my definition, I can uh, prove this implication. So, uh, so I get this local acyclicity and using, using this property, I prove this, uh, the other implication. So another small question, maybe. Uh, so if you yeah. have a, if you have a discrete valuation ring uh, with uh, yeah. not perfect residue field, but let's say with a finite P rank, then of course you can uh, uh -huh. define similar things with just a vector bundle of slightly larger rank depending on the P rank. So then you have the same. It should be having the same. I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. It's yeah, it should work also. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. And the, and the existence means that uh, that the, the intersection that if it has singular support in in C one and C two, then it has singular support in the intersection. And that is ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. compatible yeah. with with the uh, localization and so on. This is this is what existence means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, so the, the, question, the property, I don't know is that if you, if it is supported on, on two uh, uh, closed conical subsets, C1 and C2, then I don't know if you, it is micro supported on the intersection. So if we, we need such property, then we, we, we get this existence, but uh, I don't know this property. And of course, F could be a complex in a variety of ways. This is what F is. A, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yes. F is in DBC yeah, yeah, yeah. always. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So, um, so it seems that um, uh, this continuous uh, bit uh, uh, sheaf is related yeah. to uh, H minus one of the, co of the cotangent complex of the special factor yeah, yeah. of respect to, uh, uh, to the base. So uh, on the other hand, yeah. in, the, in the geometric case uh, of our field, then uh, uh, the main object of study is omega one, so uh, mm. omega one is a zero cotangent complex. So it seems that uh, maybe I'd like to bounce back on uh, uh, Ofer's uh, first question. If you want to somehow uh, mix the the two things, <laughs> both the equicaracteristic case and also the mixed one, so in a relative situation somehow, it might be good to to have an object, uh, a geometric object, which is uh, 
which uh, uh, encompasses both uh, the omega-1 and the H-1. So this is a good tangent context. The problem is that for locally complete intersection, this object is a perfect complex of perfect amplitude in, in minus one zero. And then uh, there is no uh, immediate uh, geometric object. But I think that mm. uh, there is a stack associated to that, uh, which uh, reduces uh -huh. to the two objects we considered uh, be before. And probably, uh, well, I, I'm, I'm too old now to, to work on that, but it seems that uh, it would be a nice way to uh, to unify the two approaches, and for example, to discuss what happens when you pass on generic to special fiber. So, uh, mm -hmm. the geometry of the stack, uh, so this is some kind of uh, uh, Picard stack, maybe something like that. Uh, or oh. stack. Uh, and then uh, uh, I think uh, Git Gori in uh, some paper used, uh, used this uh, thing, uh, this approach. So, it, it should be the complex. Which stack paper is you not just not if the one is H minus one. Uh huh. So this is just a vague intuition. So uh, mm. remember that uh, Rotenbeek was very happy that the cotangent complex uh, was able to put together the omega one and the H minus one somehow. He had discovered yeah, H yeah, minus yeah. much before uh, studying mm. uh, uh, inseparable extensions of fields. And uh, then uh, he was uh, he was very happy with that. And so again, it's uh, appearing here. So now the thing I don't see is that the, the Frobenius is uh, very important in your case. You have the Frobenius pullback. How it appears, I'm not so sure. It is it mm. slightly appears in the, uh, in BI uh, that you mentioned at the beginning that the direct image mm. of the, the complex is uh, some kind of truncation of cotangent complex. Uh, but uh, mm. so my result is getting, but I'm not so sure. But anyway, I, I, mm. this is just uh, some hope that maybe mm. uh, someday mm. there will be some uh, nice geometric object uh, uh, encompassing the two approaches. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. I, I know that I have to work more. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Are there other questions? Um, uh, let me ask a very naive question. So you mentioned uh, something about the random transform not working. So could you explain a little bit more? Ah. Um, yeah. Yeah. The, yes. So in the geometric case, so you, you have a random transform and you can uh, take the inverse random transform. And uh, then you, you almost get to the original one. But there's some slight difference, but this slight difference is just a const, constant one. So this is a very important uh, property. And, uh, but uh, so in mixed character case, uh, so, so this is a most precisely speaking, this is not constant, so this is a, uh, geometrically constant. So this is uh, coming from uh, pull pullback of something on the base. So in mixed ca character case, uh, you already have a wide ramification on the base. On the base. So th this is uh, this gives us some uh, problem. Okay. Thank you. Does, does this answer your question? Yes. Um, thank you. Thank you. Are there other questions? Uh, now let's thank our speaker again. Thank you very much.